everybody who is watching this fantastic session. I'm very happy to have you, first of all. My name is uh, Ole Jolai Moko Tayai Losingo from beautiful country called Itanania, and this is our national flag, simply in eastern of the African continent. Well, so possibly that you who is watching this video right now, you're a national or international student, uh, or you're a national or international parents or guardian. So regardless of your, of your locations right now, I'm very happy to have you once again. And I'm here to give you and share with you good news that I have. So, uh, first of all, I would like to welcome you into one of our online school that's called Tanzania Online Ordinary Secondary School in Square Bracket on the July. Simultaneously, I would like to welcome you to one of our YouTube channels that's called the Tanzania Online or Level Seki School in Square Bracket on the July. Wow. So, what are we doing here? First of all, what are we doing? Why? We have Tanzania Online Ordinary Secondary School, Square Bracket on the July. So it means that uh, I would like to redefine the vision that we have in this platform. Well, this division is an assignment that we have, that we have a responsibility to teach, train, incubate, encourage, and even mentor and lead some group of students who will be ready to take the classroom instructions, uh, just to extract the knowledge from the classroom instructions in mathematics and the science subjects to combine with the knowledge of God that come from the Holy Bible in order to solve real life problems, not the vision. So our main goal, or our main objective in Tanzania Online Ordinary Secondary School is to see our students are solving real life problems. That the piece of information that they wanted to share with you. Again, uh, in order to achieve that, we have some, we have different uh, departments in these online schools. One of the departments is called the Best Mathematics, and another department is called the uh, Physics, another department is called Chemistry, another department is called Kingdom of Heaven, another department is called the Pray the Lord, as uh, Psalm 150, another department is called the Worship the Lord, as uh, or Worship Our God, in Spirit and Truth, as John, as John 4, verse 19, so 26. So we have six departments. So in each of the departments, for instance, that in the departments of basic mathematics where we are, we are in departments of basic mathematics. Uh, the subject we have teaching today is basic mathematics for the form one or for the class nine. Okay. And then we have uh, again four subjects that we are teaching in this department. Okay. The other subjects are basic mathematics form two, basic mathematics form three, basic mathematics form four. So the good news when we are teaching you best mathematics now, we'll be keep on teaching you best mathematics until you graduate your all level education. That's the good news. So today we have the first chapter, chapter one, that's called numbers, best ten numerations, and the topic or the concept of the day is called the place value of the digits. This is session three. Okay. So only for the form one, I'm going to teach them by using two languages because 75% of Formal students are come from Swahili primary school education or Swahili primary education. So I would like to help them to be trans transformed from Swahili learning system into the English system. So from now, so I'll be writing every piece of information in English and in some of the parts I can write the information in Swahili so that they can understand. But when Will be, I'll be teaching you best mathematics from 4, from 2, from 3, from 4, even from 5, from 6, etc., etc. I'll be using English only. So if you're a Form 1 student, you're warmly welcome. If you're a Pre-Form 1 student, you're warmly welcome to the Form 1 education. Right? You're warmly welcome. You're welcome. But if I gain uh, one thing which I want to tell you, you have to be serious in order for you to grasp the contents and grasp everything in advance before even you go far. Uh, nacho, uh, na tafrai kuwa na wewe, mtogo mtazamaji kuwa kipindi hiki cha tatu, cha somo la isabati. Kwa majina angu, mimi naito mwalimu ole njolai, mwako ta yelo singo, ni mwalimu wa isabati. Kwa kifupi, unezo, au kwa mwanezo kalita tu mwalimu ole njolai. Uh, ni mtandania, kwa hiyo, hii ndo binelamu, so mkenya, wala so mganda, manake, tandania ni nchi angu, ni kozaliwa na mimi mbaiwa tandania. 
Leo hii na habari njema kwa ajili yako ambayo nimeona ni njema nikushirikishe. Awali ya yote kabla sijaanza kueleza unano karibisha katika shule yetu ya kwenye mtandao inaitwa Tanzania Online Online Secondary School katika mabano ole July. Na pia wakati pia na kukaribisha katika YouTube katika channel yetu ya YouTube inaitwa Tanzania Online All Level Safety School. Seki ni kifupi cha neno secondary Okay schools katika mabano ole jolani. Manako unaweza kaenda kwenye YouTube kama una smartphones au una computer au una smart TV au una iPad yote una una huduma ya internet unaweza kaingia kwenye internet ukaenda kwenye YouTube alafu kaandika ile jina Tanzania online ole secondary school katika mabano ole jolani. Ambapo ndipo utakapopata uh, mafundisho yetu mengi na katika shule hii ya kwenye mtandao. Sasa swali la msingi kwamba ni je tuna maono gani au nina, tuna maono gani ndani ya shule hii inaitwa Tanzania Online Ordinary Secondary School sababu pasipo maono watu huacha kuacha kujizuia maana ke pasipo maono pia tunaweza tukaangamia hili ni jukumu au ndio kusudi ambalo Mungu aliyokuwa amenipa ni kwamba na wajibu wa kuwafundisha na kuhakikisha kwamba kuwafundisha kuwalea na pia kuhamasisha na kujenga fikra mpya kubadilisha mfumo wa kufikiri kwa vijana au kwa watoto vijana kwa sababu najua na uongozi ya miaka 14 ambao wako tayari kupata maarifa kutoka kwenye elimu ya darasani na kuina kujumlisha pamoja na maarifa inayotoka kwenye neno la Mungu ambayo inatoka katika Biblia takatifu na kwa lengo la kutatua matatizo halisi kwa namna kusema real life problems manake ni matatizo halisi atuwapeleke watoto shuleni ili wapate vieti na peleka watoto shuleni ili wapate maarifa na hekima ili waje watatue matatizo ya kwetu. Kwa hiyo maana yake tutakachofanya tutafanya jitihada. Hili ni jukumu la muda mrefu zaidi sio jukumu la siku moja siku mbili tutayari tumeshaojengea fikra. Na itafanya jitihada za kubadilisha mfumo wa kufikiri kwa vijana na waondokane katika mfumo wa kufikiri kusoma na kufaulu. Lakini wawe pamoja na kusoma na kufaulu hilo ni jukumu moja wapo lakini wasilipe kwamba ndio mnitawapa maisha au kufanikiwa katika maisha yao. Bali waweze kukumbuka kwamba nchi hii bali na matatizo mengi na bali inahitaji vijana waweze kutatua ambao ni Tanzania wenyewe wanaojua uchungu wa mazingira ambayo tunayo. Kwa wewe kama ni mwanafunzi unaoko na mtazamo wa kidato cha kwanza, karibu uh, elimu ya sekondari wewe. Karibu elimu ya sekondari, naona mwingine hapa anaanza kucheza sasa acha mchezo. Hii sio sehemu ya kucheza, sehemu ya kusoma. Kwa karibu katika elimu ya sekondari kama yeye ni preform 1 karibu pia isikie furaha nisema ambapo utakapojifunza vitu vingi sana sasa masomo ya hisabati uh, pamoja na somo la masomo ya science mali popote na muda wote unaweza kujifunza vizuri na ukapata kitu kikubwa kulika ta kila ambacho unachotarajia kama ungeenda tuition au kama ungeenda baadhi ya shule ambazo pia unakuta hawafundishi kimtiriko ambao unataka kwa kufundisha kwa hiyo naomba tuungane pamoja uwe makini katika kila kitakachokuwa nakufundisha kwa elimu ya kwa masomo ya kidato cha kwanza tu ndio nitakayefundisha kwa lugha mbili Kiswahili na Kiingereza kwa ajili ninajua kwamba 75% wa wanafunzi wa kidato cha kwanza wametoka kwenye mfumo wa Kiswahili yani shule za msingi ambazo wamesoma masomo yote kwa lugha ya Kiswahili isipokuwa somo moja tu la Kiingereza ambalo wenyewe wanafanya vibaya mno lakini wanaenda wakichumilia tu hivyo hivyo na kwa kwenda kwa kuingizia na kuangalizia hivi kwa hali yao naifahamu kwa sababu mimi pia nimesoma shule hizo nimesoma shule ya msingi ambayo tulikuwa nasoma masomo yote ya Kiswahili kwa lugha ya Kiswahili isipokuwa somo moja kwa hiyo nilipata changamoto sana nilipoenda sekondari lakini nilipambana kwa na mimi nataka kuwafundisha jinsi gani wanavyoweza kupambana mpaka itakapofika mwisho wa mwaka wa kidato cha kwanza au katikati yani miezi sita tu baada ya mwanafunzi kuanza kidato cha kwanza anatakiwa awe anaelewa sasa kujifunza kwa lugha ya Kiingereza kumsikiliza mwalimu na mjia Kiingereza mwanzo mpaka mwisho hatua kwa hatua. Kwa hiyo tutaendelea kuimarishana hatua kwa hatua kadi ambavyo tunavyoendelea. Kwa hiyo tuna idara nyingi, idara moja hapa ni idara ya hisabati ambayo tunafundisha masomo manne kwa idara ya hisabati. Kuna wanawake somo la hisabati kidato cha kwanza, hisabati kidato cha pili, hisabati kidato cha tatu na hisabati kidato cha nne. Kwa hiyo wana sababu alinjenga jinsi hivyo. Kama una ndadhama ni kidato cha kwanza, maana yake mtakufundisha hisabati ya kidato cha kwanza nafundisha hisabati ya kidato cha pili nafundisha hisabati ya kidato cha tatu nafundisha hisabati ya kidato cha nne kwa hiyo maana yake jiandae kufaulu na kufanya vizuri somo la hisabati na kulitenda kwa sababu maana yake nitakuwa pamoja na wewe mimi ningekuwa wewe ningeanza kuonyesha mikono yangu na kumwambia Mungu asante kwa sababu mimi sikupata nafasi kama hii ambayo uko mpata wewe nimesoma hisabati kwa kuunga unga 
yani mwalimu huyu kesho mwalimu yule kesho kuna mwalimu yule nimesoma hivyo na nasoma na kwa nalipenda sana okay so then before even i take you into the sessions of the today is i want just to introduce to you uh, we have a library library manake kwa Kiswahili ni maktaba tuna maktaba katika shule ya Tanzania online ordinary secondary school na kwa maktaba tuna vitabu kwa hiyo ni kitabu kimoja hapo this is the one of the book that we have in our library so it's called basic mathematics syllabus for ordinary secondary school education from 1 through from 4 this book comprises the syllabus of four classes from 1 from 2 from 3 from 4 if you buy this book then you are done for the all level education kitabu hiki ni ni cha mtaala kinakuonyesha au kinamuonyesha mwanafunzi na mwalimu kwamba kitu gani anachotakiwa kujifunze kwa miaka minne kwa ni kitabu kizuri sana na ni muhimu na unatakiwa kuwa nacho na ukitaka kupata sisi kwenye library yetu na library pia kwa ajili ya kuendelea kwa hapa vijana na wanafunzi uh, material mbalimbali ambayo inaweza kukusaidia katika kujifunza kwa unaenda kwenye sehemu ya description hapa bonyeza hapo utaona nisikia mnavyoweza kununua kitabu hiki kwenye mtandao tunaweza tukakutumia kwenye mkoa wote ndani ya mkoa 31 Tanzania kwa hii inaita silaha namba 1 pia kuna silaha namba 2 ambayo natamani wanafunzi wetu wawe nayo ambayo inaitwa secondary basic mathematics book 1 Hiki ni kitabu ambacho kimeandaliwa na na taasisi ya elimu ya Tanzania Tanzania Institute of Education. It's a very fantastic book. I'm going to use this book. There are so many exercises, there are so many questions. It covers everything which has been instructed by the syllabus to be covered by the teacher. Ni kitabu ambacho ukikamata na ukakielewa kama mwanafunzi wa kidato cha kwanza, ninakwambia utakuwa ni moto wa kuotea mbali. Hakuna mtihani utakao kushinda. Midi temu utakuwa unafanya vizuri, temu unafanya vizuri, midi temu mwezi wa 9 utafanya vizuri zaidi na anyo mtihani wa mwisho unaweza ukafanya vizuri na ukapata mia mia inawezekana kabisa. Kwa hakikisha unapata kitabu hiki kama ile mwanafunzi anatazama ambie baba basi akunulie kitabu hiki ni bei na futu na naweza kukutumia kwenye mkoa wote wa Tanzania. Hiyo ndio maktaba ya nini? Tanzania Online Ordinary Secondary School. Hii sio shule ambayo iko Yani halisi ya nishuli ya penye mtandao. Kwa hosu zani kwamba utaenda labda Dar es Salaam na utaenda kwani utaikuta hiyo shuli ya ipu. Hii nishuli ya mba hiko kwenye mawingu. Sema hiko kwenye mawingu. Kwa mtandao manake vitu vinapita mawinguni. Ok. Kuna kitabu kingine pia ambao naita sila ya tatu. The third weapon which we call it uh, from two mathematics review. Problems and solutions 2003 through 2019. Tunapofundisha mwanafunzi wa kidato cha kwanza manake tunamwanda atafanya mitihani ya shuleni ambayo ni mid term test ya kwanza ya mwezi wa tatu, mid term ya mwezi wa na termino termino ya mwezi wa sita na pia mid term ya mwezi wa tisa na anyo ya mwezi wa kumi na mbili lakini atafanya pia mid term ya form 2 na pia atafanya primoko atafanya primoko kama ipo atafanya moko ya form 2 lakini mwisho wa siku akiwa kidato cha pili mwishoni ili aweze kufaulu kwenda kidato cha tatu anataka kufanya mtihani wa kidato cha pili inaitwa kwamba form 2 nectar exam asa hiki kitabu kina maswali na majibu ya miaka iliyopita ambayo yamegaika na maswali na njia na majibu kwa mwanafunzi akiwa na hiki kitabu anaweza akawa anafanya mazoezi na kujisaishie mwenyewe pasipo hata kuhitaji msaada wa mwalimu kwa ni kitabu muhimu kizuri pia kinapatikana kwenye maktaba yetu unaweza kabonyeza ni kitufe hapo cha description kwa ajili ya kuweza kujua ni gharama yake ni shilingi ngapi na gharama pia kukutumia kwenye mkoa wote wa Tanzania ikiwepo Unguja na Pemba. Kwa hii ni silaha namba 3. Silaha namba 4 namba 4 manake ni kuna kitabu kidogo kinaitwa Macmillan's for Figures, Mathematical Tables and Formulas. Hiki ni kitabu kizuri sana kwa ajili ya kusoma baadhi ya mada za kidato cha pili sasa kwa kisha pia kinapatikana na kinua hiki mapema kabla ya kijaisha kinapatikana katika maktaba zetu na unaweza pia ukapata kwa hiyo unaweza kutumia package nzima wetu kwamba maana yake unaweza kuandika pale bwana ule jolai namba uniambie gharama eh, ya package nzima ya vitabu vya hisabati vya form 1 au vya kidato cha kwanza au vitabu vya physics kidato cha kwanza vitabu vya chemistry kidato cha kwanza mimi nakwambia kabisa nataka kufungashia na nitakutumia kwenye mkoa wote wa Tanzania sasa imefika sasa na habari njema ndio. Pia kama wanafunzi unatakiwa kuwa na kalamu kama hii kwa ajili ya kuandika, takia kuwa na daftari. Mimi kwa mfano kama mwalimu na daftari langu. Sasa yeye mwanafunzi unataka tu kuangalia na kukodoa macho tu hapo bila kuandika. Mimi sitaki wanafunzi wa namna hiyo. Sasa kwa wanafunzi wa vifu. Kwa hiyo na daftari lako kwa mfano mimi na msomo exercise book I like products because this is a product made in Tanzania. Eh? So even myself I have to write downs 
and even yourself you have to write down so you have to write down everything that i'm going to teach you right okay good hai sasa twende kazini baada ya kupa matangazo hayo na maelekezo hayo ninaamini kabisa umenielewa na uko tayari sasa kwa ajili ya kuweza kujifunza kile ambacho kipo ndani ya moyo wangu kwa siku ya leo hai So then uh, in the previous session tulikuwa na kipindi cha session 2 ambacho tulisoma what the meanings of the number eh na kinifundisha nini maana ya namba na je namba zinakuwaje kuwaje kuna 10 numerations tumejifunza kidogo so we say kwamba a number is a mathematical object used to count measure and in label namba manake kwamba ni kitu ambacho kinatumika kwa ajili ya kuhesabu kupimia na kulebo kwa hiyo uh, you can have quick review nimesema quick review manake ni marudio marudio okay quick review of what of session session 2 ambayo iko hapo session 2 ina jina la base 10 numeration base 10 numeration base 10 numeration okay ambapo we say that we can have maybe numbers here just to remind you numbers in digits we have some sort of digits if you do remember of numbers in words for example we have 10 so this in words we wrote this 10 then let's say for example we have a 17 so this in words we call it 7 17 okay 17 okay 17 then we have this one So this in where we call it 20. Then we have let's say 100. So this we call it 100. So and then I left an exercise or a homework for you which I believe that you done it. I mentioned that you send in the comment section. Kwa ni marudio ya vitu hivyo soma kwamba kuna namba katika tarakimu au katika tarakimu na hapa namba katika maneno. So today in these sessions I want to teach you basically uh, three concepts. Kwa leo nafundisha tutengele vitatu. Tutengele cha kwanza, sema tutengele cha kwanza. Ways of kingine pia ninapokuwa nakufundisha tamka jitahidi kuwa huo na tamka kwa sauti maneno ambayo mtakayo kuwa na tamka na mtakayo kuwa na rudia rudia. So ndivyo ambavyo atakavyokaa kwenye akili yako na ndivyo ambavyo unavyoweza kuyatumia hata katika Kiingereza cha kuongea. Kosa ongope, usione aibu. Usione aibu utakapokuwa unakosea. Kama ukiona naenda haraka sana, unaweza kaangalia video hii mara kwa mara, mara mbili, mara tatu, mara nne mpaka uelewe. So, what did I write here? Kwa maana yake kipindi session maana yake ni kipindi, subtopic maana yake kipengele, chapter maana yake ni sura ya kwanza ama inaitwa numbers numbers maana yake ni number sawa ha okay values of digit kwa leo nataka kufundisha ways of representation of representing not representation of representing numbers representing what numbers ways ways maana yake ni njia say ways so so ways no njia inaitwa ways sawa kuna mtu mwingine anasoma kama ilivyo andiko ways of of manake njia okay representation representing njia za kwa hapa nasema ni njia za ku kuonyesha au kuwakilisha au njia za kuandika kuandika namba nasema kuandika nini namba kwa representing manake ni kuandika au kuwakilisha kwa hivyo na maana kadha wa kadha basically numbers basically kimsingi basically numbers numbers manake ni number can be represented numbers can be represented in two forms in two forms the first form is numerals say numerals 
numerous. Tarakimu. Kwa kiswahili numerous manake tunawasilisha namba kwa kutumia tarakimu. Okay? Numerous. So say numbers number, okay? Numbers in numerous in numerous are uh, list list in orosa list of 40 list of digits list of 40 of digits list in orosa numbers in numerals are list of digits manake tunapowasilisha namba katika numerals manake tunawasilisha namba kama orosa ya tarakimu zile au orodha ya namba kuanzia sefuri mpaka tisa. Sawa tulisoma siku ile tunaona kumbuka kwamba namba ziko kumi tu sefuri mpaka tisa. Zinazofuata baada ya hapo ni marudio ya namba zile zile. Provisor namba ziko ngapi ziko kumi sefuri 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 Kwa hapo baada ya hapo ni marudio kwa sababu kumi ni moja na sefuri. Kumi na moja ni moja moja vikirudia. Ni ya tano, manake ni tano na sefuri mbili. Kwa ni marudi ya zile namba kumi. So in mathematics, you just have only ten numbers. So numbers in numerals are list of 40 digits. Tuone samifano ya number in numerals. Examples. Examples manake ni mifano. So mtatumia sana mifano. Examples manake ni mifano. Mifano. Eh, kwa miezi mingapi katika mwaka? 12. Kwa hiyo ni inaitwa numbers in numeral. Fano mwingine pia. Haya. Tuna mikono ngapi Tanzania? 71. Hiyo inaitwa numerals, numbers in numerals. Haya. Sasa hivi ni mwaka gani? 2021. Hii ni list ni orodha ya namba. Sawa? Numbers in numerals. Haya. Hela kubwa ya, noti kubwa ya Tanzania ni shilinga hapi, ya fukumu. Sa, hii ni orodha number katika numerals. Lakini, ok, hela ya katikati ya Tanzania ni shilinga hapi, ya fukumu. Haya. Ye Tanzania ni kwata uhuru makabia, mwaka F1, ya tisa, stina mwaka. So, number in numerals. Haya, vita ya kwanza vya dunia vili isha rini, mwaka F1, ya tisa, bena tamu. Makazari, haya. Labda kwamba, tukisema kwamba labda bilion moja. Tukisema kwamba, haya. We have 23,507. So, etc., etc. So, hizi number ambazo ziko katika numerals. These are the numbers which express not in numerals. So, you have so many numbers that we can express in numerals. So, if you find numbers which have been written this way, you have to know, ah, okay. These are the numbers which have been represented in numerals. Is a number ambazo zina maana flani. Lakini zineweta kuandikwa kwa kutumia tarakimu. So, kutumia nini tarakimu? Hii ni njia ya kwanza ambayo naza kwa silisha au kukonesha namba. Kukonesha namba na njia mbili. Numerals na wei. Yani tarakimu na nini na njia pili na hitwa nini? Wei's. Another way of representing numbers is called you can represent numbers by using words. Words manake ni maneno. Ni maneno. Okay? So numbers in words, the list of words according to the year place in value. Numbers in words. Number katika maneno is a list of 40 of words according to Lingana, according to the year less than numbers in the number in words katika maneno is a list rosa list of what of words according to According to the year placed in value. For numbers, katika maneno ni orodha ya maneno. Ambayo ya nategemea pia nini? Thamani 
ya hizo namba katika orodha hiyo ya namba. Hii na maana gani ya place one? Sababu ndo title au ndo kisha cha habari cha kipindi cha tatu cha siku ya leo. Nasema place value kwa mfano kwenye namba hii hapa ya 1000. Kwenye namba hii hapa ya 1000 kuna wanafunzi hapa na waona wanasinzia. Sisinzia. Kwenye namba hii hapa ya 1000 hii ni sefuri, 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 sefuri. Ila samani ya hii sefuri sio sawa na hii sefuri. Na samani ya hii sefuri sio sawa na hii sefuri. Na samani ya hii sefuri sio sawa na sefuri sio sawa na sefuri. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu kwamba nikiondoa hii sefuri hapa samani ya hii namba itabadilika ina hiyo kwa 1000 na ina kwa 1000. Sawa? Kwa hiyo maana hiyo ni best value. Kwa maana yake naweza nikawa na hii hapa ambayo ni 1000. Yaani nika kwa mfano kwa nikawa na 1000 na sefuri ngapi? 4. Na nikiwa pia na 1000. Nitaka kuiandika hii itaita 1000 na hii inaita 10000. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu unaona kabisa kwamba zote hizi ni sefuri sefuri hizi sefuri kadi zako ongeweka unaona kupungua zina maana na thamani. Ndio maana kusema kwamba we are writing the psychology the place value. Lakini labda kwa namba hiyo unaweza kwa kujaelewa vizuri. Kwa mfano tuwe na mia mbili, salasina mbili, kama hivi. Hii ni mbili na hii ni mbili. Sawa. Lakini samani ya hii mbili sio sawa na hii mbili. Kwa nini? Hii ni mbili, na hii ni mia mbili. Kwa hiyo, kwa nini? Nini kichu ifanya hii mia mbili na hii mbili, na fast hiyo kwepo, toka kupando wa kuhili. Kwa hii, hatuwezu kaita two, alafu three and two. No. Kaita two hundred, Then, what you do? So, when you are going to numbers in weights is a list of the weights according to the year placing values. Right. So, examples. Examples, you know, what do you mean? Fun. So, examples, we say that we have 44. So, what do you mean? 44. Hizi namba zote ni nne nne. Lakini samani ya ile sasa na hii 2 na 4 hii ni. So hii ni namba za numerals. And then here you have number not in weights. So number in weights this one we just write C40. This is 40 4. 40 4. Excuse me. I made some mistake in this spelling. Forty. Forty-four. Now you forty-four means what? Arbaina. Four. Then we go for the second example. Second example, we have eighty-five. So this in which we call it. Eighty, eighty, five, eighty-five. And here we have we have eighty-five. Then we are here nine hundred forty-two. So this is nine nine hundred. Forty-two. Tisa arbaini na bini. Nine hundred forty-two. Nine hundred forty-two. Aye. Ala kana him boni fela. This we call it one thousand. One thousand. Kona zapiyo kapiya starwa kuli. Then we can have what again man. This we call it ten, ten servants, ten servants of whom, etc., etc., etc. We have numbers in numerals, numbers in weights, etc. Manake na kavali kana kavali kana kavali. So, if you want to copy, you can pause the video. 
and then you copy once you are done you press the play button and then you continue on watching it so then after presenting after teaching you place uh, before a teachable place values nimekuonyesha kwamba namba kwenye hesabu inaweza kaonyeshwa katika mifumo mei kwa kutumia tarakimu au kwa kutumia maneno maneno yanaitwa weights lakini inaitwa numerals baada ya kuelewa hapo sasa naomba nikufundishe juu ya kipengele kinachoitwa place values place values say place values Yes. So now the meeting about place values. Place values or place values. Place values. Place value of 40 numbers. Place values of numbers. Place values of 40 of numbers. Any man of place values of numbers kwa samba thamani kwa kweli na samba hii ni thamani ya namba kinafasi kina kinafasi thamani ya namba kinafasi kwa maana place values of 40 of numbers kwamba kama tulivyosema hapa hii ni 44 hii ni 4 na pia hii ni ila thamani ya ile sio sana hii kwa sababu gani ya nafasi ya upepo sawa ndio maana place values ndicho tunachoenda kujifunza hivi sasa so sitaki kuongelea maneno mengi sana sababu leo unaanza safari place value of numbers to make of time the place value of numbers place values of numbers is determined of a number of a number of a number is is determined from the from the most right and the most right digit the most right digit to the most left digit to the most left digit do you enjoy the beauty of mathematics tell me in the comment section please Tusema kwamba place value samani ya namba kinafasi tunaitafuta determine manake tunaitafuta au inatafuti au tunaitafuta kwa kuangalia namba kutoka from manake kutoka the most right digit most right digit most right kwa mimi hapa kwa mimi huku ndo upande wangu wa kushoto huku ndo upande wangu wa kulia kidoka hivi Huko the most nini lefty lefty what lefty digit na huko manake ndo nini the most right manake kwa mfano nitumie mikono yangu hii ni left hand side this is right hand side kidoka hivi hii right hand side hii left hand side kwa bado maana mikono yangu haibadiliki kulingana nilivyogeuka kwa nasema kwamba place value samani ya namba tunaitambua kwa kuangalia from what kutoka most right digit kwa mfano kama kwenye namba hii namba 4 ni the most right digit namba 4 hii no most left digit tukija hapa namba 2 the most right digit ni namba ambayo imeanza kutoka upande wa kulia alafu namba 9 the most left digit kwa maana kianza kwenye fikiri namba kutoka upande wa kushoto naanza kukuta 9 okay that the meaning of it so example examples means what you define examples if i have for example that i have four and four right this one is what you got to most right digit most right digit and if i have this one right this one is got most left digit
na mimi unaelewa ninachofundisha kwa mambo nieleze kwa comment section hapa chini ya kwamba unanielewa but answer questions in english so tell me in english sir so i understand here the comment section place value of 40 of dignity place value of dignity so another example is let's say we have example two we have let's say four five nine seven right so then i want to show you this is mosty most of lefty digit. This is the letter digits. Digits ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu ya ni letter digit. Namba manani. Most lefty or ti? Most lefty digit. Easy, mbili zi, ni middle. Middle manake ni namba ambazo zipo katikati. Middle ti, middle digits. So, middle digits. Middle manake nini? Kati, 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 smaga HD, kati, 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 yeah. Okay, na hii hapa namba saba, kwa kesi hii hapa, kwa kuma vingina kama, we call it most left digit. Most left yot digit. Oh, excuse me, most right. Namba ya kwanza kabisa ambayo hiko mkono ha, kuri hiko. Right, mkono mpande wa kulia, left mpande wa kushoto. Kwa hii namba ambayo iko upande wa kulia, unafo itazama we, namba ambayo iko upande wa kushoto saini. Isi namba ambayo ziko katikati. Sawa? Kwa thamani ya hii ume, so sawa na thamani ya isa. Kwa thamani ya namba, zinaongedeka ukitoka mkono wa kulia, kwenda mkono wa kushoto. Right? Na mkwenda. Kama hii inaitua left, inaitua right, right hand, for example, kama no right digit, to a sort of left name, left digit. Kwa nini ya basa, kwa basa, value increases. Value increases. Value increases manaka nini? Inaongedeka. Value nini, nakwambia, nisamani. Mwane nami nafanye, ina, onge, zeka. So hii ndo left digit, na hapa ndo na right nini. Fano atatu. Kwa mfano, pia tukiwa na nini, 10,000. Fano ahelo. Hii ndo, naituwa nini? So let me write in short. Mosty, right. So this we call to what? Mosty, right, digit. And this we call to what? This we call to mosty, lefty, digit. And what are these? So this, and this, and this, we call it to what? Call it to middle, Middle digits. Numbers are cut cut. That's all. Minamini kabisa kwa mpie unanyea. Hewa nacho kufundisha. Au na mashanga shanga atwa. Hewa nacho kufundisha. Mbe sabu yi ya kila kisha kwa. Kila kisha na kitoa. Kitoa kwa nini? Sila na bangabi. Mbe kitabutia. Kila nacho kufundisha kimeandiko. So after that, bawa da sase ya kuelewa kwa mba ha. Sabu isi numero, stabili na namba. Ha, kumbe thamani, kumbe na eta nkawa na namba ina ufanana hapa na hapa. Lakini thamani zake zikawa, tofauti. Hapa ni mekwambia ni elf, elfu nime. Hii, ikika hapa, manake ni nime. Kwa hiyo sasa. Tunakuwa na nini? The place values from the smallest digits to the largest right digit. Sa mkwa ya mfundishe, ikiwa hapa na itali. Kwa ikiwa hapa, kwa mfano hii saba, tunaita mamoja. Na hii, makumi. Na hii, mamia. Na hii, maelfu. Na kwenyeo. Kwa mbeo kipenila na chukwa hapa kufundishe.
So at the place of value from the smallest t from the smallest t limit to the largest t limit to the largest t limit. The place value from the smallest digit to the largest digit. Place the value from the smallest digit to the largest digit is even below. So I'll be writing this the place values from the smallest digit from Manake Nikotoka. Smallest digit in number and logo, our number in the money logo, the largest digit in number by the money, Kuba Puriko numbers in a sort. Kornaza, Korna, and Nick, I will be writing this in English and also in Swahili. So you have to be careful. We begin, with, we are starting from the right hand side here. Yeah? The first number we'll find in the right hand side we call it once. Say once. Once. Once manake ni mamoja. You learned this concept in German. Mufunza in kwenye shule msingi. Mamoja makumi ndio hicho nacho soma. So once. Then we go on na natoa hapo kule kwenye mamoja kwa Kiingereza ita once. So tutapewa swali tutapewa namba Unaambia kwamba andika katika mamoja, katika makumi elfu, katika maelfu, hivyo. Paka bilioni kuna takia tufiti. The next one is called your team, tens. Tens manake nini? Makumi. Shula msini kulisoma kama nini? Makumi. Na kukua mazigiwa sana, na kukua napata vema kwa nigwe. Tumilia secondary, tina bandika lugia, hali na kwa tete. Tens. Then the next one, the next place value, smallest place value, smallest place value, is what? Hundreds. Hundreds, manake nini? Mamiya. Maona sasa saizo naanza kuelewa. Mamiya. Hundreds, mamiya. Then we have what? Thousands. Thousands, manake nini? Maelf. Ma. Elf. Ma elf. So, alafu then, number five, tunaita nini? Au number tano, tunaita pamba ten thousands. Ten hoti, ten thousands. Manake hii kwa kiswa hili, ulikuwa tunaita makumi elf. Kwa namba katika makumi elf. Number six, tulikuwa pia maada makumi elf, kwa hafana nini? Mamiya elf. Mba kwa kingereza, we call it hundreds, hundred thousands. Kwa lazima ujifunze kutamuka hayo maneno na ya kai. Sama mwanima atakuwa na ya tamuka mara kwa mara. Hundred thousands. Mba kwa kiswa hili ni mamiya elf. Okay. Mamiya elf. Alafu bada mamiya elf na fata nini? Mamilioni. Mbawa kwa kingereza na ita millions. Millions. Millions manake mimi. Mamilioni. Yeo na mamilioni? Nibu hapana mimi sina ila baba anaye. Ya baba ya baba. Tafta na ya kwa. Kwa naita once, manake mamoja, alafu, hai. Tuende sasa kwenye sarifi matamishi. This one we pronounce as once. Once, manake mamoja. Alafu, then tens. Tens, manake makumu. Hundreds. Hundreds means mamina. Thousands, manake ma elf. Ten thousands, manake makumi elf. Hundred thousands, manake mamia. Millions, mamilioni. Kwa hulia na kuhulia kutamkayo maneno kwa sababu, 
na tutahitaji kwenye safari yetu ya hesabu kidato cha kwanza kuanzia sasa na kuendelea zetu naendelea kama ninajua shule ya msingi sehemu kubwa mlishia kwa imani ya elf kinjia sasa sekondari tuna tanua kidogo ufahamu wako kwa nafikisha kwa imani ilioni mpaka bilioni ndio kisikia kwenye taarifa habari kwa mataifa la Marekani umetoa msaada wa bilioni mbili naelewa kwamba bilioni mbili na sifu ingapi haya ngana namba 8 baada ya mamilioni kwa mamilioni zikaenda mpaka tisa kwa hiyo naita bilioni tisa mamilioni zikaenda mpaka kumi kwa hiyo inaitwa 10 million maana ni makumi milioni kwa kuanzia 10 million mpaka 99 million ni makumi milioni yaani kuanzia milioni kumi mpaka milioni tisina tisa hai ni makumi milioni sai so then we call it 10 millions you are studying in order to be what a millionaire nataka kuwa milionea kwa basi sa unataka kusoma unataka kuwa milionea afu mimi namba 10 millions manake hii ni makumi milioni kwa ukiziangalia kuu mchakato ni wa kurudia rudia mamoja once makumi mamia maelfu makumi elfu kwa maana kwa makumi elfu ni makumi afu na elfu sasa alafu tena hapa nini mamia elfu ni muunganiko wa mamia na elfu haya kitoka hapo manake nakuja milioni kwa milioni makumi milioni ni muunganiko wa makumi na milioni kwa hiyo nafata size nini mamia milioni kwa hiyo mamia na milioni baada hapo nafata nini nitakwambia kwamba ninachofuata nini kwa 10 millions baada hapo naenda namba 9 okay namba 9 kwa namba 9 we have what a place value we call it what ya 100 millions 100 useke asia 100 millions 100 millions manake kwamba mamia milioni kama unaona naandika haraka uweze kusikiliza taangalia video hii na kurudia na kurudia 100 millions mamia milioni Then number 10 ambapo tunatakia kuishia kwa kiasi cha kwanza is now billions. This is what billions. Billions manake milioni. Milioni moja au bilioni mbili. Au mabilioni. Milioni au mabilioni. Mabilioni. Kwa hiyo amene siku moja atakuwa na mabilioni o billions okay au mabilioni billions kwa hiyo ukishafahamu hivyo basi manake ni rahisi sasa kuweza kucheza na namba kipindi kinachofuata the next session i will teach you about numbers up to 1 billion kwamba tunaanzia ndika sasa hizi namba kwamba mpaka bilioni yapi mpaka bilioni moja sawa mpaka bilioni moja sababu kuna zoezi lake ambalo naleta na hicho kipengele. Kwa hiyo ngo anataka kufundisha tu place values. Say place values. Place values. Sasa ndio kwenye swali sasa. Let me give you examples. give you example of this place values this is example 1 in this example 1 we far rejea secondary basic mathematics kifupi cha secondary basic mathematics book 1 okay exercise 
121, the first exercise. And then I want to solve question two, page two. Fanya swali la pili, kwenye ukurasa wa pili. Haya, maelezi ya swali. Kwa example, one, example manake nini? Mfano, wa kwanza. Refer, manake regea. Secondary basic mathematics, kitabu cha, kitabu cha sabati, cha secondary. Mkwana, kidata cha kwanza. Exercise, say exercise. Exercise manake zoezi la kwanza, kwenye nukta moja. Swali la pili, QN ni kifupi cha question. Swali la pili, page manake na ukurasa wa pili. Ha, nandika maileza ya swali. For each, say for each, for each manake kwa kila. For each of the following. For each of the following numbers. For each of the following numbers. For each of the following numbers, write, write the place value for, write the place value of the digits, write the place value of the digit. of the digit in the brackets. Mbakia pia kwa na penseli kwa njila kwa ndika baazi ya maneno ya kingereza. Mbakia kwa na penseli kwa ndika maanaki kwa kishwaini. For each, for manake kwa, each kila. Following ya fuatayo, au numbers fuatayo, manake following numbers. For each of the following numbers, manai kwa kila number ifuatayo. Write. Write. Hii ni. Write. Write manai ke W, R, I, T. Write. Andika. Write ni andika. The place value. Place value manai ke samani ya number. Of the digit ya number. In the brackets. Brackets manai ke mabano. Hii ni B. Nika samanya number. Ambaye iko kwa inini? Mabano. Kwa brackets manake. Inini? Mabano. Kondo swali. Akakupa. Pengele vingi sana. Hei. Pengele manaka kakupa pengele vi sita. Kwa ntafanya vi nne. Kwa kwa chari vi ni kama kaze ni wani. A. Mina tano. Kumina tatu. Kwa mabano. Kaka wandike place value. Haka eka alama hiyo. Eka alama hiyo. Haka eka kwa ni mabano. Haka eka kwa ni mabano. Then B. B. Tunangabe. Sawa sina tano. Saba. Tisa. 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 Mba hapa ni tano. Si. Efamsini. Mba moja. Mba bena tisa. Mba hii ni ngapi tano. I. I. D D F9 8,665 This is 8 Then E E is 207 This is 7 Then F If this is 900 or 900,412, this is 4. Here in exercise 1, 21, swallow that. So the question for each of the following numbers, 
write out the place value of the digits in logic calculus. Maana yake kwa Kiswahili ya hii swali. Kwa kila namba au kwa kila mkusanyiko wa namba unaoko umepewa hapo andika samani ya namba ambayo iko kwenye madhano. Maana yake ni kwa kutumia mtiriko huu unaoko nimekufundisha kuanzia ones mpaka billions hapa ndio tunaanza sasa kutumia maana yake au kama tumeelewa au hatujaelewa kwa hiyo tunachofuata ni nini ni kitu tunakita solution au njia ya kupata jibu ambayo nataka tushirikiane na wewe katika kupata jibu kwa hili swali kwa hii mada ya kwanza nitaongea Kiswahili sana kuliko Kiingereza nikaenda mada ya pili nitaongea Kiswahili sana sana na Kiingereza mada ya tatu ongea kiingereza sana Kiswahili kidogo. Hivyo hivyo. Baka nafikiri sehemu wewe wala utojua nini utakuwa unajua kiingereza. Na ikifika kwamba kwenye mada ya nane huko hata nikiongea kiingereza dakika tano naelewa ninachofundisha. Sababu tayari nimeshajenga msingi. Kitu chochote ni msingi. Kwa hiyo maana kwenye mada ya kwanza hapa naongea Kiswahili sana kwa sababu ninajua unapenda kufundishwa Kiswahili sana. Na haya mambo yanakuwa ni nepesi sababu yanakuwa ni nepesi kidogo kufundishwa kwa Kiswahili kwanza alafu kibadilisha kiingereza baadaye unaelewa. Kwa nikitaja brackets tayari ushasikia hapa brackets hivi mwalimu alisema nini? Mabano. Nikisema kwamba addition maana yake nini? Jumlisha. Nikisema kwamba numbers ah nishasema numbers maana yake ni number. Nikisema place maana yake ni mahali na hayo nishajua. Nikisema write maana yake andika. Sawa? Exercise unajua tayari ni zoezi. Kwa hiyo haya maneno kwa sababu kwenye hisabu atakuwa naangalia mara kwa mara maana yake atakuwa anajengeka ndani yako mpaka anakuwa ya kwako sababu hata sisi hatukusaliwa nayo lakini tumeyajenga ndani ya fikra zetu ya mikoa yako tuko naweza kaongea usiku na mchana haya solution tuanze na swali la kutengele cha a namna kufanya ili uweze kupata jibu sawa unaweza ukafanya hivi ili uwe na uhakika umepewa 500 13 sawa anzia siku zote mkono wa kulia start from the right hand side This one you can label it okay this is what ones na moja right then this one you can label it also this is what tens na kenini makumi alafu then this one this is equal to hundreds na kenini mamia baada ya kumaliza hiyo unaangalia je kwenye mabano unajua namba gani moja kwa maana yake baada ya hapo tunashtakia tukusema ni kwamba kusoma ndio kama right the place wa kwa nasema therefore hii ni therefore kwa hiyo therefore the place value of 1 is what tens number is ready 100 100 ah kwa. Na bi. Mboga nimesema nafanya manne na kuachia mawili kama kazi nyumbani. Tuna tatu, we have 3, we have 5, we have 7, we have 9, we have 9, we have 9. So we begin this one. To summarize the of pressure, this is one. The next thing is what? Tens. Na kinaandika tu ya kwanza neno. Next is what? Hundreds. Next is what? Thousands. Next is what? Ten thousands. TTT. Next is what? Hundred what? Hundred thousand. Kwa hiyo leo unachofanya unachambua namba nzima. Afa uri kwenye swali. Unaangalia hii wewe mwenye uliuliza swali. Muuliza namba gani nikwambie? Nakuja kwenye mabano. Namba ngapi namba tano? unatafuta kuna namba 5 hapa namba 5 hapa 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 kwa namba 5 namba 5 ni nini 10 thousands plus my therefore the place is value so, so na kufundisha Kiswahili usiandike Kiswahili kwa hiyo a a tunaandika kwa Kiingereza therefore the place is value of 1 of 5 is what is what is 10 thousands 
ten sultans. Ten sultans. Tuhan ibu. Raisi. Sabu minajua katika namba zote hizo ni yogopa hii na hii ya. Sa hii ni homo. Kazi yaka nyumbani. Mbo hii naitua homo X3. Sabu ni session 3. Hai. Kianga yati na namba nyingina mba hii naeseke na kutisha. Hai. Nafanya hii na hii. Hii na kwachia homo X2. Nafanya unitumia kwenye comment section. Saole wako utege. Sabine baste, mina fani. Subject manake nini somo. Basic mathematics manake esabu ya wani. Department manake nini? Hidara. School manake nini? Shule. Sabu na ingina ta school wa wani nini. Secondary manake nini? Secondary. Class manake nini? Darasa. Form manake nini? Kidato. Sense giving manake nini? Shukrani. Shua asante. Asante ni sense. Kwa shukrani. Sense kiri. Kama unasikia mawani mwako kumtolea mungu sanaka shukrani kupitia huluma hii. Kwa kitu mungu alicho kuletea. Bila kulipa gerama yote. Unaso katuma. Sadaka hako kupitia na mahi. Tafika na kulipia gerama za uendeshaji wa huluma hii. Hai. Naenda nini? Si. Una gerama kumbwa sana. Mbaka video hii na kufikia mahali lipo. Si. Si. We'll be given 50,149. Right? So then here we are. This is what? Ones. Here we are. This is what? Tens. We start always from right hand side. Here we are. This is what? Hundred. Then here we are. This is what? Thousands. Thousands. Then here we are. This is what? Ten thousands. Ten thousands. Then we go back. What have you been asked? Five. So where is five? Nine, four, one, zero, five. This is five. Ten thousands. So you say therefore. Alamai manake nini? Therefore. Wahilo. There. Less. Value of five is what? Ten thousands. Ten thousands. So, Chris, so what is so much really sana? Sana, sana. What else you got? So much really sana. I can't talk as I. Then the D, A D. Nimesema D ni kazi ya nyumbani. Enda E. E we have 227. Ah, tukifika hapa sawa sawa tushaelewa tunaambia namba saba. Kama tumeshaambia namba saba, maji ya namba saba ni hii hapa. Jibu lake nini? Once. Tusha maliza. Wasa therefore. The place value of what? Of seven is ones. Umelewa, nisho kwa na kufundisha. Umelewa. Kama menyelewa, pima uwelewa wako kwa kufanya kipengele cha D na kufanya kipengele cha F. Alafu, unitumia majibu kwenye comment section. Bonyeza kuna kitufa kwenye nandika comment section. Alafu, unitumia majibu. Nihanga hii. Kama jie, upata au mikosa. Lakini pia, wanza kwa taona dunia nzima, ya kwa bolifanya nini. Kwa kisha, unajitehidi kufanya vizuri, ilo siokope kukosea. This is the end of session 2, session 3, of which is titled as place value of the digit. I would like to welcome you in the session 4, which is what we call the expanded form, and the one on, and the numbers to one billion, it's on back of foundation. I thank God who have created me in his image and likeness, and I thank God who have created me and built uh, a teaching industry or a teaching gift in me, just like he, he has built the swimming power and capability in fishes. So to me, I'm a teaching 
and the teaching is me. I thank you also as a, uh, as a pre form one or the form one student who, who joined me in these sessions to watch and learn everything that God has put in my heart. I thank you very much. I appreciate your participation. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. But remember that in this, in our channel, we are going to have more than 500 videos. So we ask you to press the buttons of subscribe in order to get notifications once we upload any new video. Ninakushukuru sana kwa kuweza kujifunza kwa mwaja na mimi, so mwaja isabati. Na mshukuru mungu wa linipa na fasi hii ya kipeke ya kufundisha kizazi hiki na kizazi kina chokunya. Na kwa kutumia pia njia hii mpia kidogo ya kutumia mifumo ya kibigitari. Na mshukuru mungu pia linipa karama ya uwalimu amba mitineza mnani ya mwe wangu kama vile alivotineza uwezo wa samaki kuhogelea kwenye maji. Sabu samaki, sijai kumwana samaki ya kienda shuleni kujifunza na mna kuhogelea. Kwa na mimi huduma amba uwalimu ndiva mbavi ndiva ni kitu ya mba kimejegwa nani na jisikia fraa sana na kuafumbesha hatu ya kine kile na chokuwa na kibiwa. Sijui kila kitu, njoo kwa sehemu, lakini niko tiare kuweza kuafumbesha watu wengine. Hakisha basi hili kuweza kujunga na masomo na shule hii akisho na kwenyeza kitu fecha subscribe alafu kwenyeza kitu fecha kengere kitaka chotokea na uchamwe pia manake chabula all ili weze kupata tarifa punde tu tunapo ungeza video mpya kwa sababu tutakuwa na video zaidi ya miatani kwenye shule hii ya Tanzania online ordinary secondary school ok so this is uh, Ole July from Tanzania online ordinary secondary school uh, in square bracket in early July. I love you so much. I'm praying for you. Pray for me. Then let us meet in the next session, which is session three, session four uh, of best mathematics for the former. May God bless you.